Hello everyone, it is I, Deep Toonster, and it's time. It's finally time. I'm feeling the rhythm, man. Back by popular demand. Well, not back, but a new rendition. You know, a sequel as they might call it. This is Let's Play Rhythm Heaven. That's right, I'm, em I'm emulating this DS game. I thought for a second that I wouldn't be able to do this because emulating this game is kind of... Well, it's sketchy, let's put it that way. Because first of all, it runs slow unless you have a computer like mine. Well, I'm not saying I have a really good computer, but it's good enough to actually play this, you know, without lagging about 10 FPS on you. Anyway, we'll make a new file here. Uh, you can pick one of these weird descriptors here. Like, who would have their grandma play this game? I, I don't know. Big Sis, BF, GF, Prez. Prez? Why is that supposed to mean? President? Well, we're picking it. It's just because it's like the odd one out. So, here it is, the sequel to Rhythm Ten Goku, and it's actually in English this time. We can understand it, yay. So this does use the touch screen, and it's not just pressing the screen. They utilize every pretty much every aspect of it. You'll be flicking, dragging, pressing, releasing, all that good stuff. I can't believe I'm doing this, man. I finally, I, the only reason I'm doing this is because well, it's not like I don't want to do this, but the reason why I actually am doing it now is because someone, you know, they told me, hey, I enjoyed your Rhythm Tengoku LP, why don't you try Rhythm uh, Heaven on the DS? And I'm like, well, yeah, I tried to do that, but it didn't really work out. But then I tried it again, and it worked out. So thanks to that person who, uh, who urged me to do this, you know who you are. So we got basic tutorials here telling you to flick your stylus. Even though I don't have a stylus, like I said, I'm emulating this, so this is all mouse work here, which can get kind of weird. I've never, well, I've played, I've practiced the first couple stages, but I can tell I might have some problems with the later levels. But you can enjoy that when it comes. So now it's going to have me aim for a freaking car. Not too hard. Once it gets over near the left, that's when you can release it. So yeah, I've got boring tutorials. Let's get to the actual game and the act Oh, wow. Okay, maybe. Maybe I shouldn't underestimate this tutorial. Maybe it'll get the best of me if I let that happen. Nah. We got this. We got this in the bag. There we go. You thought you could get me going fast there at the end, huh? Well, I learned your lesson. Yeah, I did get the hang of the flick. And it says that's pretty much all you need to know. I don't know about that. I mean, it is pretty much the basic concept. But it isn't just flicking the entire thing through. So how did I do? I did okay. I missed one. Alright, thank you, Mr. Frogman. We'll be seeing him some more a little bit later. So here we are. Oh, yes! I love that first note on... Whoops. I accidentally freaking... Hopefully that doesn't affect the video at all. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, we got the... Here's the level select screen for this game. Built the scale. Felt the rhythm of factory line as you build stuff. That's a good way to describe that, because who the hell knows what this is. It's hard to explain, so just try playing it. What? When does instructions say it's hard to explain, so just try playing it? Jeez. Well, I guess we'll just have to try playing it. This game is actually... It's kind of... I'd say it's fairly difficult to start with. Not that this is a difficult game, but... The timing is kind of weird. But it's a good intro, nonetheless. So you'll have these uh, two panels coming off from the left and right. What you want to do is flick right at the moment they converge at the center. Two, three, four, five. So on the fifth beat there, that's when you flick. You always want to get yourself prepared and then flick right at the end there. That's really all there is to it. It'll, it will get speed up a little bit later and get a little bit more complicated, but not too much. It's weird how you flick this thing and it goes right in the middle and stays there. You think it would... Whoops. Dang, I'm missing the flicks because of the mouse. Anyway, you think it would go through or, like, knock the thing over and then fall down itself? It's kind of weird how it actually sticks in there. And there's, like, a glob of super glue all around the middle there. Here we go. Here's how where it's going to speed up. We can handle it. <laughs> well, if I actually flick it, maybe. Hope I pass this. First time I played this through on the... Wow, I don't think I'm actually going to do it. So we're going to fail the first game. Isn't that lovely, kids? Yeah, if I'm not getting the flicks, why the heck it, isn't it going off? Come on. Boom. Maybe we'll make it up at the end. 
because there is one more trick up its sleeve. Wow, I'm definitely not getting it if I miss that many. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. So yeah, pretty much the entire screen will go dark. You have this little section here. So you have to rely pretty much all on sound. Dang it! That's just timing. I don't think that's really the mouse's fault there. So I'm actually I'm legitimately failing this game. So we're off to a really good start here. You're not quite there yet. Well, okay. I wasn't focusing on the visuals. Well, maybe a little. Kind of like the last time. Uh, I had the music turned down quite a bit. It's not too bad, but I still might need some visual cues to help me along here. So here we go. we got to try this again. What a miserable start, man. Oh, well. We'll make up for it. Let's just concentrate a little more here. Graphic. Some of the graphics in these levels pretty nice for the DS, man. I mean, most of it is 2D, but still, really good artwork, I must say. And of course, the music is amazing. You can count on that. Just the music here is so basic. I guess it is a pretty good introductory level, even though I failed it, and I've, been, I've actually played this game before. It actually has been a while. It's been a couple of years, actually. When I first played it, they had the demo on the Nintendo channel for the Wii, where you can actually uh, like transfer a download to your DS and play the demo on there. So that's what I did, and they had these first three levels on it. And when I got to the part where it speeds up, that's when I knew, yeah, I'm probably going to buy this game. Because I like rhythm games in general. So yeah, it was a good pick for me. I'm glad I found this demo. I was just randomly strolling around on the Nintendo channel and happened to find it. Probably would have never discovered it if I hadn't have done that. So I'm glad I did. Try to whiff these. Dang it! At least I'm not completely missing them like last time. I can make up for it at the end too. Dang it! Maybe not. Oh my gosh, I'm too early. So yeah, as you can see, I still haven't completely mastered the mouse time. Let's try to get this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah! See, I've already memorized the music for this. I played it. Come on, get this last one. Four. Oh, please let that be enough. I can't believe I'm begging for it to be enough on the first level. That's how it works. Yes, we did it. Alright, yeah, just okay, but at least we did it. And there we go. That's the first level of Rhythm Heaven. Sometimes being okay is good enough. Well, all the time in this game, okay is good enough. Love that zoom effect they have on the borders whenever you complete a game. So here we go, the next level. Oh, wait, first let's check out this cafe here, why not? Welcome to the cafe, is this your first time here? Well, no, but it is for this playthrough. Feel free to come on by anytime you find the game's too hard to play or you just need to take a break. If you're saying, <laughs> yeah, just let, chill out in the virtual cafe to take a break. Most people just turn the game off. Okay. Is there anything we can do here? Well, not really. This is kind of like back in the last game when we had those little extras you can get when you do the games. But we haven't really done any games yet, so we might want to fix that. Join a trio of course, and you're zero to third, so, just have, so you just have to keep up with the others. Well, okay. This game is pretty much one of the... It stands out because of... Well, you'll see. It's pretty hilarious. Oh, what the... Oh my gosh. Shut up. Shut up. Well, what you have to do is just tap. And I think I'm actually going to skip this tutorial, even though there's quite a bit to this game, actually. But we'll see that when it comes along. It's a good thing they don't penalize you at the beginning for having your mouth closed. Because you have to have that initial tap to do that. So yeah, we got a nice mellow beat going on. Yeah. We could chill out to this. Screw the cafe. The timing on the mouse is kind of weird for this game, because it takes a little bit of time to, you know, release the button on the mouse. Together now. So you're not immediately opening your mouth when you let go. So you might want to time it a little bit earlier than you normally would on a DS. As if you were playing this on an emulator. I'm, most people should play this on a real DS. I did, so that's how you're going to get the best pleasure. But getting slower. Longer notes. One, two, three, four. Oh, I don't Together think that. I didn't even mention those flick notes you do when you flick the stylish, she will do that big scream. Yeah, nice beat there. Kind of a, some tricky timing, but you get it down pretty quickly. 
It's hard to tell when they're gonna like release the, or stop the note the first time you play through, but I pretty much have it memorized. Together now. Oh yeah, trying to trick you by putting a flick after that one? Can't fool me. La la. Haha. <laughs> We're actually doing pretty good on this one. I did pretty good on my practice playthrough too. Not that this is a difficult game. Well, neither was the first one. The first one is actually probably the most difficult out of the first, like, five you do, though. Which is, again, I, I already mentioned it, it's kind of weird. Great flow, nice voice control, but still just okay. Well, I can take it. If you're not quite getting it yet, what? I got it. I, I was okay, I got it. It's not like I completely sung off key or out of time or something like that. This next game's really cool. This factory builds robots. What did you expect? Well, I don't know. There's a lot of factories that don't build robots. It's your job to fuel them up once they're built. So yeah, you're just injecting a bunch of robots with fuel, but of course it's to a beat. Everything in this game's to a beat. Got 11 minutes. Don't worry about building the robots. Well, yeah, they've already done. You said that, didn't you? So, pretty much all you're doing here is whenever you hold down the stylus, you'll have that injector there going... Oh, I missed the first one. Jeez. Anyway, it will go down. You want to time it to where it will get into those little holes in the top of the robot's head. What the heck? Why am I missing this? I'm like slightly off, too. Let's try Let's try to concentrate and show you how this is done. There we go. And once it's actually injected, you have to wait four beats for the robot to fill up. You don't want to fill it up too much, and you don't want to fill it up too little. And they'll do a little dance if you do it correctly. Or a little stance, I guess it is. The big ones take eight beats. Like that. Oh, I was a little bit off. Could use it a little bit more. If you get it right, like perfectly right, the robots will actually fly off. Which is kind of cool. I missed three so far. I can see it flying off. Yeah. Alright. Oh, it's trying to trick you with the beat here. Well, it managed to do it. My gosh, I might actually fail this one. What the crap? Do, do. Well, I guess using the mouse is my new challenge. That'll be the twist for this LP. How about that? Well, that was just dumbness right there. It's just stupidity. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely not passing this one, man. Come on. Okay, somehow I managed to fill that one. I thought I would fail it. Here you go, big guy. Double dose. What the heck? It's a weird dance that last one does. It, like, bends his knees in. Chief says, hmm, you fail. Oh, what? Okay. I'll take it. I missed, like, five or six, but I still managed to do it. These are still the early levels, I guess. But even the early levels can be unforgiving sometimes. So, we got that one behind us as well. Off to a well, pretty good start. I've only failed once so far. So here we go, the last mini game for this video here. Pop stars can't make it on their own. They need the help of fans like you to get the audience worked up. Keep time with your friends. Oh, great. So now we gotta be like cheerleaders for a freaking concert. And wait till you see the audience for this one. Monkeys! Three monkeys. So, not the biggest audience. Probably the weirdest one, though. You're looking at the funkiest, monkeyest fan club around. Yeah, whatever. Not even gonna try to go through that dialogue. So here we get the first lyrics in uh, song here. Whoops, I was a little late there. Anyway, what you're doing is, whenever she says, uh, uh, I think it's either yeah, 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 or just something three times. You have to clap four times. And whenever she says, I suppose, you have to do this weird little pattern where you hold for a little bit. Yeah, it is when she says something three times that you have to do the four claps. So here's an I suppose. So you saw that little pattern there. It was a hold, two shorts, and then you have to actually flick a little bit. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Live, I suppose. Something weird to put into a song. It was just some weird translation. Whoops! There we go, did it right that time. Jeez. It's a good thing this game isn't that long, because I'm not sure if I pass that or not. Like that face there at the end she was doing. Oh, I suppose you could do better. Yeah, really, really cute. Wow. 
I thought you were supposed to be my biggest fan. I I'm, I'm sorry. I'll try harder this time. Let's do this. These fans came for a show, and we'll give it to them. So we just have to get the I supposes right. I clapped four times on that one I suppose. That's probably what failed me. It probably counted for more than one failure. Even though I don't know if they really do that or not. Let's not worry about that. Let's do it right this time. Yeah, yeah, now we yeah. know how the game works. I was late again there. Stop looking at me like that. Yeah, that's right. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, here comes the I suppose. Uh, suppose. Yeah! Okay, there, I did it right. Conjure a spell? To do what? Enslave me with your love magic? Dang it, I'm not getting those claps right either. Oddly enough, I'm doing the I supposes okay, and that's the harder one in my opinion. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Alright, there we go. Alright, doing so good so far. Not there, I was late. More than yesterday. <laughs> Another weird line. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. And there I am with my hands up at the end. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, like that. I don't know. Okay, I passed it that time. I don't know. I, didn't, I don't think I did. Yeah, what he said, I don't know. That's really all I can say about that. But we got it. You had my support. Jeez, I haven't gotten a superb medal at all so far. And yeah, you st do still get those in this game. Alright, so we got the first four games down. That leaves us with, as always, a remix level coming up next. We'll do that next time, though. I'll see you guys then. I'm so glad I'm doing this. Thanks for watching.